companions, or the people of Jannah. Time is a law. Of course, Dahri is not one of the 99 names that is expressed in the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, which we should be all familiar with. But believe me, it is many a name besides the 99 that the Prophet ﷺ did um, give us. And one of them is Dahri. In fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He is Dahri. As not to say it from an Asma al Husna or the most beautiful name, but in fact, this is his quality that he is. Now, this is the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, said this to the Prophet Islam about him be Dahri or time. Because the Quraysh and the Arab used to curse time whenever a disaster or calamity or misfortune hit them. They used to say, Waylul Dahri. They used to say, woe be or curses upon time because they believe that time is the one who brought this problem on them. Well, in fact, maybe it did. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has to be the owner of time. It's the one who is time and you cannot legitimately curse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The only reason that people would curse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is because of their ignorance and because they followed the shaitan. So they gave, or the shaitan, he gave them a misunderstanding of the happenings of this hayat al doom. So they thought that their lives of the world was only what exists. You see, time is so important. Everything has its appointed time. It's a time for playing and it's a time for praying. It's a time for living and it's a time for dying. Is it a time for the Yom al Qiyamah? Or Yom al Yom al It is a time for all of these days which belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where people and jinn will have no say. And that is what our time now has to deal with our perceptions of those days of Allah as Zuhajah. We have to prepare ourselves for them. If we take for granted time and we don't look at the things or what we spend our time in, involved in, we will be caught up and will be put the pressure on a special day. If we pay attention to the Quran, we study the Quran in Ramadan, inshallah ta'ala, but that study, did it benefit us or was it just only to have the rhythmic flow of the tilawa? Was it only to just say the Quran so it didn't sound beautiful, which is an order of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa We're supposed to beautify the Quran as best we can. But the objective is to really understand the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In it, kuli matal every type of situation. So we're supposed to study the Quran in order to understand what we're supposed to do in every given situation. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who puts us in everything. It's, it's very important that we understand this. The things that happen in our lives is only because of Allah saying this. And we are supposed to be a believer in good and bad times. And the Prophet ﷺ said, Kuli, Kuli, every time is khayrun for a believer. Every Kuli shay, everything is khayrun for a believer. And this is only for a believer. And some hadith said, Hasan, the same thing. You want good, you have to understand what's going on with you. If you think that you will never have problems, you are not truly a believer in Allah as do I just, or your knowledge has become too limited for you to be able to fight against the demon. You have to know that Allah has to test you. You do
do for 30, 29 or 30 days fast and for a lot of dollar, not because you're wise, but because Allah ordered you to and you can't get out of it. You have to do it. You're proving that you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, however much it is, little or much. But look at people like Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered him come up to the mouth and do so. Do a battle for 30 days. When he completed the 30 days, Allah said, I added 10. I added 10. And mind you, Musa alayhi salatu wa salam couldn't break his fast at Mabu. You heard me. No iftar and mabra, no biryani, no salad, no apples, no candy, just straight ibadah, just straight remembrance of Allah and Zuwajal. And then Allah said, do ten more, just like you did the other. Pay attention to how perfect Allah has made this deen wherein every individual, small or great, can get the Jannah by believing in Allah perfectly even though they have the blemishes that exist in them because every one of us have blemishes. It's where we recognize how powerful Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is because we look at how insufficient we are ourselves. And until and unless we look at ourselves in that manner, we will not have the truth of belief properly. The sincerity, as the Prophet wasallam said, is the deen. Deen and nasiha. This sincerity has to be embedded in the heart. Taqwa, he pointed to his chest, is in the heart. How do you know if a person has taqwa? Allah only knows. Everybody has to pay their sadaqah. Everybody has to pay their prayer. Everybody has to pay their fasting. Everybody. So when the cab will come before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he can't reach, she can't reach for no good deeds because they don't have any. And the ones that they have, it's not for Allah, so it means nothing. <coughs> it ain't worth two dead flies. So you have to pay attention to Allah as do I tell you. And the only way to really truthfully be that, you have to get embedded in the book. Remember Allah's message, alayhi salatu wasalam, said, whosoever reads the Quran in three days, don't understand it well. You have to pay attention to the Quran. Again, has there ever come a period of time wherein mankind or people was a thing that was unremembered by Allah as well? And also, and they say, there's not but our life for the world. We die and we live, and not destroy us save time. When they have no knowledge of whatsoever of all that, they do but guess. And the people of the fire, they said, and they cry out for help therein, saying, Oh, our Lord, release us. We will do right, not the wrong that we used to do. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to them, Did not we grant a life long enough for him who reflected to reflect therein? And the warner came unto you. Now taste the flavor of your deeds, for evil has no help. Evil doers have no help. If we're pulling down the hand of the stuff of God. What become?